Alright guys, I'm back for a second video today. That gotta count for something, and yeah, sorry for the troll face reveal. I just had to do it. Remember, get that one to four likes, and then we'll do it for real. Alright, so this is Jibanji. He's one of the ones I put a teaser for in one of my previous videos. The remade version of him. So that I could show my advancement in my skills from 6th grade to 8th grade. So basically like 11 or 12 year old to 13. Um, yeah, so today I'm going to be showing off this one and the two other old hybrids I'm remaking. And then I'll be showing off some of my newer ones. Alright, so this is Jibanji, a Sandwing, Icewing. His form is mostly Icewing with some Sandwing scale stuff going on. Sandwing barb tail, but he has the ice spikes and the Icewing style scales, but otherwise he's mostly Sandwing looking. Alright, on to the next one. The second hybrid I ever made was... Squelch. I know it's spelled Skelch, but it's supposed to be Squelch. And um, he's going to be the next one I redraw. But uh, this is what he looks like. He's a Mudwing Icewing hybrid, and yeah, his name is Squelch. That's basically the, all there is to him. And um. For all these newer hybrids, you're going to notice that I drew heads of the two dragons they're combined of, and for the rain wings, they're going to be nothing related to the actual colors of their children, because rain wings can change their scale color. If you have read the books, you would know that. But um, um, the reason why I'm doing this now is because I'm going to be spending the day in Orlando, so. Yeah, I need to get this out before I go there. Alright, Squelch. It's gonna be the next one I remake. And I'll, I should hopefully have that video of all the remakes on Monday. <laughs> Alright, and the last one to be remade will be Iceberg. I know she's tilted. Um, these are old. These are very good. So... Once again, an Icewing hybrid. One thing that was the same with all these earlier hybrids, they were all Icewing. Yeah, so I found out that I, well, I kind of already realized, but earlier on I made a lot of Icewing and Nightwing hybrids, and I realized the ones I focused the least on were Mudwing, Seawing, and um, Brainwing. Because the rain wings were always difficult for me because it was hard to figure out if they'd be able to change scales or if they wouldn't be able to. And one of my newer hybrids can't change scales or permanently stuck one color, but most of my rain wing hybrids can't change scales. But Iceberg, she's an ice wing, sea wing hybrid. Iceberg floats in the water, so Iceberg's float in the water, so I thought, hey, why not? Yeah, that's pretty much all there is to her. Alright, now on to one of my newer Sandwing hybrids. And this one, she's Sandwing Rainwing and Improvement, please. She does not have a barbed tail. I decided that would be better for her in this case, and I think she turned out really good. I used the colors of... Crayola Violet, I think, and some kind of just purple color, not violet, actual purple, and then the color, main color for scales is mango, then I used bubblegum pink for her ears, and orange for the wings, and then cerulean for the darker blue, and sky blue for the lighter blue. 
and her parents, as I would imagine it would be Bramble and Banana. So that's what a rain wing looks like. That's what a sand wing looks like. Alright. Next one, the sea wing remake. Well, a sea wing hybrid. This is oyster. See? He's a sand wing sea wing hybrid. So his thing is I thought it was really cool to make his sail thing along his back. Half like sand wing. Like sand colored because of sand wing and then all his like flat parts are all sand wing like. And his scales are just blue. And then he has a sand wing tail bob. So that's pretty much all you need to know about him. His one of his parents was named Scorpion. And the other one's Cerulean, that's a... He came before Mangrove, one of the hybrids I showed off in the past, the Mudwing Seawing one, which is why I'm not showing off a Mudwing in this one, but an Icewing, because Chibanji's body is mainly Icewing. But I named one of Mangrove's parents Cerulean, and I also named one of this guy's parents Cerulean, and I kind of forgot, so... Um, yeah, that's probably going to get changed eventually. Mm -hmm. Now we go on to the last one, and honestly, one of my favorites of my new ones, aside from Mangrove. I mean, Mangrove doesn't really have the best design, but the story I've been making up for him is interesting. So this one's Snowfall. Can you guess what she is, Part? If you guess I at least Icewing, then you're incorrect. But what else do you think she is? I'll give you ten. Well, how about this? If you want to try and guess, pause the video right now, and I'll reveal it in a little bit. All right. Now, if you're ready, Snowfall is a nice wing skywing hybrid, and oh my goodness, she's so beautiful, and I love her so much. I just love how the red looked against the light and the light blue. I like how I made her body like blue instead of just plain white like most dragons. Oh. And so that's Snowfall pretty much. I also just love her design. She's one of my favorite designs but not my favorite of my new dragons because I haven't really made a backstory for her yet. The backstory for Mangrove is really interesting. Oh, and another character I have that I haven't showed you yet, Ravine. She has an interesting backstory. Let me know if you want to hear it. Alright? Well, that's pretty much it. And I end with a teeny zip. Was that... What's that face? You know who it is. Who am I kidding? But anyway, see you guys tomorrow. And peace out.